four teenagers are now charged. They clashed in a duel-like situation where two wild shootings and a hit-and-run occur within the span of a minute. Everything was captured on video filmed by eyewitnesses, which we will show later at the end of the video. All uncensored footage of these types of events are available on our Instagram. At Crime Sweden Investigators, all those involved in the incidents are linked to criminal networks, and the reason for the altercation is presumed to be revenge for a previous assault. The act of violence was one of the most serious during 2023, not least because members of the public were passing by. August 9, 2023. On Wednesday evening at 8.13 p.m., a brawl erupts among four patrons inside Torgerlin on Navalerskaten. Several perpetrators kicked and struck the victim's body and head and threw a porcelain pot at the victim. More people arrive and join the assault. Several perpetrators threw and destroyed items inside the restaurant. The victim in this case was 18-year-old H, and for this, among others, 17-year-old A, were convicted of the assault in Gothenburg District Court on September 27, 2023. All involved in this case are associated with criminal gangs in Forlunda and Tinnard in southern Gothenburg according to the police and prosecutor's office, specifically the G and Z factions as they're called in the media. Several are both suspects and victims in the case we are about to explain now. August 14, 2023 Around 11.30 p.m. on Monday evening, police receive reports of a shooting in Vastra Forlunda. When the police arrive at the crime scene on Sodra Draxpelsgaten in Vastra Forlunda, there are chaotic scenes with many people on the street. The police find, among other things, a shot young man and a crashed moped. After a lengthy investigation, the police and prosecutors have been able to piece together and present the following alleged sequence of events. At the first act of violence, 17-year-old A.A. is located at the northern end of Soldier Drax Belsgatten. A.A. is the same teenager that was convicted for the assault days prior. According to his own statements, A.A. is on his way to buy some dip at a local store. Then I see a motorcycle with two armed individuals driving towards me, he said in interrogation and explained that he started running from the scene. My legs started hurting, and that's how I realized I had been shot. He ran into a parking lot where he took cover between cars. These two perpetrators and shooters have been identified in the investigation as H and J, who fired several shots with one shot hitting AA in the upper part of the thigh. After the shooting, the two perpetrators attempted to flee the scene on the motorcycle. Then the second act of violence occurred, also an attempted murder according to the prosecutor. The motorcycle with both perpetrators H and J continues south on Soldier Drax Belsgaden. Further south on Sodra Drax Belsgaden, a car approaches from the north. 18-year-old M is a friend of the teenager AA. M explained during his interrogation that he saw his young friend, whom he had just dropped off at the location, being chased. I get worried, wondering what has happened. So I decide to turn around. The motorcycle then came driving towards him, he claims. I just see an arm raised, with a pistol aiming at me. M asserts that a thousand thoughts race through his head about how he should act. I decide to drive right towards them, but not to harm anyone. I drove right towards them to save my life. I was kind of scared in that situation. One of the perpetrators flew over his car upon collision. The driver of the car was identified in the investigation as M. When the car M is driving meets the motorcycle, it results in a head-on collision at Soldier Drax Belsgaten 39, constituting the second act of violence. The driver decided to run from the scene of the collision. Then the third attempted murder occurred. The men on the motorcycle are said to have managed to reload their weapon after the crash, and they shoot at M while M was running away from the scene. However, none of the shots hit M or anyone else. When the police arrived at the scene, there were several gang criminals associated with the Z faction present. The teenager, AA, had a gunshot injury in the thigh. AA was taken care of by a woman who alerted the police to the plastic bag, which is essentially lying on the victim. A modified starter pistol was found there. After finding AA with a gunshot injury in the thigh, he was forced into emergency surgery. His condition was life-threatening when the ambulance reached the hospital. Authorities have had difficulty clarifying A's age. According to the latest information, it has been determined to be 17 years.
AA belongs to the so-called Z faction, according to the police, which is based around Ferlunda Torg and is suspected of serious weapons offenses. His friend M, born in 2004, is accused of attempted murder for driving into the motorcycle with the two men with his car. Both young men on the motorcycle, H and J, both born in 2005, have loose connections to the so-called G faction. But according to the police, they float around in the gang environments in Gothenburg and are therefore difficult to place. Both are now charged with attempted murder and serious weapons offenses. They deny the charges. I don't remember the specific day. Nothing special happened in my life, says one of them. H speculated during his interrogation about how suspicions may have been directed at him. The media has reported that the police have theories that it may be a revenge attack because I was assaulted a few days before. So that's the reason I think I'm here. However, H emphasizes in interrogations that he is not that type. I don't feel like I need to seek revenge. But of course, I have resentment towards the people involved. That it could be a revenge attack is a theory also evident from the police's investigation materials. Five days before the attempted murders on August 14th, a group assault occurred inside a restaurant where H and another friend were attacked, then by individuals from the Z faction. In a memo, the police write about their hypothesis. Considering the background, we can believe that the men and the G faction did not tolerate the assault and therefore want to retaliate. What do you think happened that evening? If you want more videos like this, like this video, and then write a comment about what we should do a video about next.